Hi, welcome to On the Road with Roger. And today we're at one of Seattle's best tourist attractions, uh, the Pike Place Market. And I want to show you a recent new expansion that they've made there. With nearly insurmountable restrictions, expanding this historic place was a complicated undertaking. The market will continue to be a marketplace for farmers and producers of artisan good, but also a public outdoor area with unparalleled views of Elliott Bay. Inside the new portion, called Market Front, you will find 47 new daytime stalls, 300 new underground parking spaces, and low-income senior housing. Obviously, during the summer months, this will be packed. In addition to the new producers hall, food and drink businesses will make their products right before your eyes. Let me show you those that have relocated here. The Old Stove Brewing Company will anchor Producers Hall and will serve up a rotating selection of 16 to 20 house-made beers on tap, plus a pub menu. The pub has 80-foot windows overlooking the Olympic Mountains. Jar and Company and Little Fish haven't opened yet. They're still coming, but seafood is the focus here. Specifically, seafood that's canned, cured, salted, and smoked right on the premises. Honest Biscuits, the owner and head baker Art Stone, learned the art of making biscuits in his grandma's North Carolina home. Seattle has finally caught on. The Indie Chocolate Sweet Shop will be separately enclosed with the producer's hall to allow control of the temperature while creating beautiful chocolates. Yum! Thanks for coming on the road with Roger and checking out the new Pike Place Market Editions. Look forward to seeing you in Seattle. If you have questions about Seattle or real estate, I look forward to hearing from you. You can never get enough fish in Seattle.